I know uh, today is the anniversary of Jake's death. If you're wondering why he's here, he's not drinking. It's okay. I'm not here to attack you, Luke. I just came to say thank you. I got your letter. What you did means a lot. I felt like I owed it to Jake and to you to come by and thank you in person. You're welcome. What's the floating rib? Oh, um, it's an old, an old Port Charles hangout. I have a sort of sentimental attachment to the name. I thought I'd like to hear it again. He uh, negotiated a deal with uh, Coleman to change the name of the place. I felt that uh, a big neon sign saying Jake on this dive was uh, not an appropriate way to remember your son. So uh, I've asked him to change the name. The way to remember him is well, like I said in the letter. At the Jake Spencer Fund. It's a thoughtful way to remember him. Elizabeth, you know I would never try to buy your forgiveness. I've got to get back to work. him for the fun that he set up. It really meant a lot to him. Well, what he did meant a lot to me. I know that this must be the hardest day of the year for you, so you can tell me if you want me to back off. Never had a problem doing that. What do you know about Maxie getting arrested for Lisa Mel's murder? Only that Matt said Maxie claims to have gotten Anthony Zakara to help her cover it up. Wow, I mean, I know that she was helping Anthony with his wedding to Tracy, which seemed totally weird at the time. But you were on the boat, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, until Lisa threw me overboard. She threw you overboard? Yeah. I mean, okay, wait, you, you, you don't really think that Maxie would have killed her though, right? You know my history with Maxie. I've seen her do some pretty insane things over the years. Yeah, not murder. I don't want to believe she could kill anyone. I'm gonna see this patient. What kind of damage can he do? Why don't you just tell me what happened in Atlantic City between you two? Help me help you. We're both on opposite sides of this case. I don't want to complicate your life any more than it already is. What is that? Wait, who are you trying to protect here? Me or you? What if I'm trying to protect both of us? What if I'm, what, what if I'm trying to protect whatever relationship we might have? Yeah, yeah, we have those. Oh, well, there must be something in the air because I just had bonding moment with mine. So I thought it was going to get ugly because today is the anniversary of Jake's death. But Elizabeth surprised us. She ended up thanking my dad. Thanking him? Yeah, I guess my dad donated a large sum of money and to set up some sort of fund in Jake's name. Well, I guess if it helped Elizabeth, it doesn't really matter where the money came from, right? Hey, kids, I just wanted you to uh, know that I finished up all my business at Johnny's. That's it? Um, yeah. You came all the way down here to, to tell me nothing? What? Nothing. I know how you worried, and I just uh, wanted you to know that you could put your mind to rest. So you've been hanging out at Johnny's, and I got nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing. I'll see you kids later. Enjoy the cannolis. Now you must be really worried about her. I'm worried about my mother and my father. You don't really think that you're most forget with Johnny, do you? If that were the case, you would have got pissed at me for 
knows me in her business, she want to try to bribe me with cannoli. What is that about? No idea. I gotta talk to Johnny again. But first, I gotta figure out this case against Sonny. Well, you will. I have faith in you. Hmm. It's just all circumstantial evidence. I need to find a witness who can say whether or not Sonny was there. And by witness, you mean Ethan? Yes. I gotta find him. Looks like I just made your job a hell of a lot easier, detective.